I'm Mary Jones, and I do walking projects. And then I make maps. These maps are based on long walks taken through the wilderness of urban experience. Along the way, I stop to take photos, collect ephemera, which then gets sliced and diced along with other found materials in the studio, and I draw. I like to draw in public places. Like walking, drawing in public brings about a tension between private thoughts and the public space keeps the mind and body in sync. Then I recompose spaces, familiar and strange. Places like this intersection, I've been there a thousand times and in recreating it, I am in the presence of everyone who has ever been there or remembers parts of the built environment that are gone along with earlier lifetimes. In recreating strange places, yes, memories come about, but also desires are engendered. How long before this space becomes a place that is mine? I walk spaces that are not really meant for walking, despite the sidewalks, in some parts of Des Moines, for instance, lone pedestrians seem to be made uneasy when their public privacy is invaded by another pedestrian. Walking is a gendered experience, so sometimes I costume to test the waters with that. As I walk, I am consciously looking closely as a female looking subject, I am aware of being looked at and also of looking within. Looking is complicated. I'm media restless. I collage mentally and physically. So there are prints and larger works on panels such as I've shown, but I've also tried video and book formats. Most recently, I am interested in working collaboratively, no longer walking alone. When I walk with another, we talk about everything. And we try to remember everything. This is a, a project I'm working on with my daughter right now. We're walking in three different cities, Des Moines, Chicago, and Brooklyn, where she lives. So the layers pile on and on. And the work is always in motion. There are stages, but it's never finished. 